and welcome to my maths class. We had previously done reduction with 180 and 360. Now we are going to do reduction with 90 and 270. When we had done reduction with 180 and 360, you had seen that we had specifically worked with the horizontal line. Now, when we're working with the reduction with 90 and 270, we're going to work with the vertical line. So it's 90 minus 90 plus, 270 minus, and 270 plus. Now the thing that is consistent is that all students take coffee. We still have all that are positive in the first quadrant, sin and cosec that are positive in the second quadrant, tan and cot that is positive in the third quadrant, and cos and sec that is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now when we are doing reduction, we must remember that we still have to check the quadrants because that will determine how are we going to rewrite it. When we are rewriting, you must remember that Reduction for 90 and 270 is not your first option. When you have a choice, you choose 180 and 360. Only later when you see, I am required to use 90 because I can't get to the answer, then would you use 90 and 270. When basically it stops you from getting to the answer. You will also notice 90 and 270 are limited to sin and cos. You can't do other reductions with 90 and 270. Now, once you have rewritten, you use a thing called the COCO rule. If I've got a sin, it would become a cos. Can you see? I put in a co. If I got a cos, it would become a sin. So what we're doing is we're removing the co. So we have the COCO rule, meaning put in a co, or take off a co. Now, when you are doing the reduction, what is the most important thing is you will rewrite it in the following way. Number one, you would have the sign. But the sign is always based on the original question. Then you would have your ratio. But now your ratio won't be, if it's sin, it stays sin. It would now be the COCO rule. So if I have sin, it will become cos. If I have cos, it will become sin. And then you would put your value. So it is important that you must remember your sign is from the original question. Your ratio has to be a co-function. And then the angle would always be between 0 and 90. Let us take the following. If I say reduce sin 65 degrees. Now it's already between 0 and 90. What or why are they asking us to reduce it? They want you to reduce it but the question further states use an angle of 25 degrees. Now, if you look sin 65, how am I going to convert it to use an angle of 25 degrees? It's in the first quadrant, so I'm checking. I know I'm in the first quadrant. My first quadrant says sin 90 minus 25 gives me 65 degrees. But now, after you've rewritten, how do we reduce? My sign in the first quadrant for sin is positive. The ratio must be the co-function, so it becomes cos. And the angle, 25. So it will be positive cos 25. Let's do another example so you can understand why the sign for the original is important. If I gave you cos of 135 degrees. 
Now you could do this using the 180 reduction, but I want to specifically teach you this method. That's why I'm going to use the 90. It would become, since it is in the second quadrant, it becomes 90 plus. So I've got cos 90 plus 45. Now, how am I reducing? Cos in the second quadrant is a negative. Then the cos becomes a sin. And after that, so I have negative sin and the angle is 45 degrees. So look, even though my answer is sin, I looked at the original question to determine my sign. So it's negative sin 45. In this case, you can go further because it is a special angle. Sometimes they just want you to write it in the angle they want you to use. So be careful if you have a choice between 180, 360, 90 or 270, you choose 180. You don't choose 90 and 270. 90 and 270 is when you are limited and you can't get the solution with 180 and 360. Thank you for watching.